Paul Reed on the floor to begin the fourth quarter. Here's Oladipo trying to create some space. Tough floater right into the teeth of that defense. And that's a couple of good chances underneath for Paul Reed, but they come away empty. Critical minutes here to begin the fourth out of bio outside. Hero. I was to say, I thought Adebayo passed up an easy basket at the at the rim there, but his fellow Kentucky Wildcat was showing off the range. Corner three from Feibel, no. Reed, active on the offensive glass. This is Maxi. soft touch, massive three for Philadelphia. And that was all Reed right there. Grant, the range of these three-point shooters in the NBA today is just... Hard to comprehend with toe the line. You know, now guys are four, five, six feet behind the line. And as a result, defensively, you have to come. And with the spacing, so hard to defend in today's NBA. It's completely changed the game and how teams have to defend. Maxi looking for some daylight. Harris, well played by Martin into the paint. Boy, he has been so good tonight. And when his team is needed, hitting a lot of threes, most of his damage in the mid-range. So Harris now 25 points, trying to keep them within striking distance. Hero into the lane, off-balance flick, missed it, gets it back, and cleans it up. And that's been part of experience, and that's why he came here for this opportunity with this number one seed. Championship aspirations here in Miami. All right, Martin had a good look at it, and another offensive rebound. They have decimated. Tyler Hero, by the way, has 22 of their 31 bench points. Looking for more jump pass. Adebayo to the cup. Biggest lead from 15 Philadelphia turnovers. That's a three-point check. Hero carving him up. Timeout Sixers. Three points for the Miami Heat. That three-point shooting, which took a little bit of time to get revved up tonight. Starting to pick up some steam, and it is Tyler Hero lighting the fire. Lighting fire and getting this crowd into the game. And as I said earlier, I just... Philly just looking tired. My old coach, Doug Collins, used to say, fatigue makes cowards of us all. And this depth of Miami wearing down Philadelphia here in this fourth quarter. Harden's going to fire with three misses off glass. And, and what I mean is a possession like that. No movement, nothing. Nothing in transition in the second half for Philadelphia. Nothing with pace. We're before the defense gets set. And this is another blow by everything easy because of the effort and multiple efforts from the Miami Heat. Max Struess. Get you some hard move to the cup. And you can see the fatigue now from the Sixers at both ends of the floor. Niang still looking for his first bucket. Sixers have not scored a point in nearly four minutes. Like Adebayo got smacked in the face on that drive. And George Niang now. Is all of seven from the field. And every one of his shots have been from three-point distance. All the depot wild miss. And the Sixers control. 21-point game with 5.20 left in regulation. Harris has been the only thing working for them for long stretches in this game. Here's Maxi, seven to shoot, little Euro step. Everything but to finish. Hero looking for more. That contagious three-point stroke. That's a rare miss. I'll tell you, this place, this building, every time he shoots, there's an expectation that's going to go in. Tyler Hero, fantastic from downtown. Harris misses on a three. Philadelphia now in the quarter is 2 of 15 from the field. More of that interior defense, but there is contact. Martin was there. 
And Tobias Harris to the free throw line. Tobias Harris, a great little cut right there. Two guys for Miami out of bio. And Martin contesting there, but you can see the fatigue right there as Harris trying to gather himself. And obviously some good things here from Philadelphia in that first half. And have to go to the drawing board here as they prepare for game two Wednesday night. Let's take a little look at the upcoming national TV playoff schedule with taking off. It's presented by Turkish Airlines. TNT doubleheader tomorrow has a couple of game twos. Bucks Celtics here in Boston. What a start to that series for Milwaukee. And Golden State stealing one in Memphis after the suspension of Draymond Green, who did not hide his feelings on that decision from the officials grant after the game. I love Draymond Green and I love today's NBA. You go do your own podcast in the hotel room <laughs> after the game to talk about that mm. moment, which he did a great job describing, but times have changed. Times have definitely changed. <laughs> I see you, Day Day. <laughs> so time out on the floor with four and change left to play in regulation. And right now the Miami Heat on cruise control. Time now for a straight talk wireless timeout.